Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad lesson. Today, I had a user request a tricycle, so my friends, let's get cracking. I, as usual, chose sign in with Google, and now I'm going to name it Tricycle, T-R-I-C-Y-C-L-E. We are going to build a big part of this tricycle with a featured shape called the bent pipe. When you bring the bent pipe out, the first thing we need to do is change the pipe size to three and the wall thickness to one. And then we will keep adjusting this piece to make the other parts of our tricycle. Let's start by turning this guy into a front fork. I'm gonna always type the numbers over here. I want the arc diameter to be 10. I want the bend angle on this to be 180. And then I want the lead in and lead out to both be 10. Make sure you press enter after you type these so it locks it in. And hopefully that makes sense to you. It's being goofy, so I'm going to just type 2 for a second. Then it adjusts, and then I'll bring it back. And now this time I'll type 10 again and see if I can get it to lock in. There is our front fork. Let's zoom in for fit view, and let's use this to stand it up. Don't forget D is dropped to raise it up in the air. I'm going to add the stem to this, and I'm just going to do Control D to duplicate, but then I'm going to change the numbers. I want the arc diameter to be 60, but then I want the bend angle to only be 25. I want the lead in to be 5, and I want the lead out to be 0. Once again, pressing Enter, and check it out. That starts to look like the stem on a tricycle. Remember, if your numbers look a little different, make sure you adjust them a second time so that they come out the way they're supposed to. So my front of my work plane is this way, so I want to grab the rotation, and I want to rotate it 90 degrees. Since it won't let me move it, I will just type the number 90 and press Enter. There's the 90, and you can see now that stem is the way it's supposed to be. You could lift it with the handle, but I'm going to do Control Up. And then also, I want to make sure they're aligned, so I'm going to click on this piece, and I'm going to say I want them to align to the front. Then when I do control up, I can get it to the right height. I'm going to grab those two again, and I'm going to align them to the center so that now the front of my bike has got the right angles on it. Before we do anything else with this, let's do control D and set our part that we're going to build off up there. Then grab the two and make them into a group. All right, friends, let's make the next piece of the frame. Once again, let's do duplicate, which is control D. Let's bring it over to this direction. And then what I want you to do, I want you to make those numbers 25, 120. I want you to put in a one and a 15. All right, friends, use those numbers to start out with. You can tinker with them after we move them into place. Uh, this is how you move it into place. This piece connects up here, but you've got to rotate it 90 degrees first. And then we've also got to flip it so that points up. Now the flip command, you got to find this arrow here, which it's easier to do if you look from a corner. So now that we've got this arranged, we want to align them. So we're just going to select them, click Align, Click on this centerpiece because that's what we want to align with and pop. You can see that you have got your cool little seat post and the body frame. Now I like to rotate it a little bit different angles. Notice if you stay close, it snaps. I like to find the angle that I want by just using the one degree movements. And then once you've done that, you can just use your left arrow to push it into place. And you can do control down to lower it to the exact spot where you want it. I like that, so I'm going to take the two of them, or really three shapes, and now I'm going to group them. It does take a moment for them to group. Make sure you're patient. And now, let's add our rear fork. Control D gets us this frame shape. Let's lay it down 90 degrees. Press D to drop. And then the only adjustment we make is to say that we want that arc diameter to be 30. Just like that, we've got a way to attach our wheels. We can use control up to raise that into the frame and then grab all of our frame parts and we want to align them again. Once again, I'm going to click on the front because that's where I care about and choose middle and then group them. Alrighty, let's make ourselves some sweet little handlebars. Once again, we are going to do duplicate. 
Let's rotate it so it's laying down 90 degrees. D to drop so it's on that work plane. And let's change it to have these numbers. 30 for the arc diameter, 25 for the bend angle. And then I want you to put two for the lead in and I want 15 for where it exits or the out. I'm going to change this part's color to a gray because I think it'll look pretty sweet. And before I attach it, I'm going to add a cool grip on the end of the handle. I'm going to do that by hitting work plane so I'm aimed at that flat spot. I'm going to bring out a cylinder so it lands on it. Hold down shift and shrink a little, but then type the number four for the exact size you want it. I'm going to have that grid set to one as I get close. Let's do fit view so we can see how well we did. We were off by a little bit, so I'm going to raise it up. If I do up arrow right now, it moves this way because of the plane. I'm going to orbit and look around. That looks pretty neat. Let's change it to the black color I want for the grip. I'm going to make it round because I think that looks cool. And I'm going to do a bevel of two. I find it easier to just type the number. And then I am going to push it in so you can see it sliding around. And what that does is it lets me look at it from the end to make sure I've got it perfect. Now I can use the arrows to just nudge it till I'm exactly happy. And when I am happy, I can grab this one and stretch it out. Just like that, we have got a sweet handle. I'm going to do one up arrow to line that up just a little better. I'm going to do one over. And it's not about being perfect. It's just about thinking it's awesome. And I do think that's awesome. Let's grab those two shapes and group them. Notice it always takes a second for them to group. Once they do group, we can turn on multicolor, and then we can do Control D. And if we flip this along that axis, we'll be able to just nudge it in place so then we can finally group them. Notice I did switch to the size one so it nudges faster. When they're side by side, bam. Grouped and our handlebars have been created. I'm gonna rotate them 90 degrees. I'm going to select the entire bike, and I'm going to do that center. I'm going to click on the bike because that's where I want it to be. And now I'm just going to use control up to raise it up and use that arrow to nudge it back into place. When I think I've got it perfect, double check from the other angle. Maybe turn on that half nudge so I can get it closer or a quarter nudge. I'm going to do control up bring it back and I like it. I'm gonna grab all those shapes and I'm gonna group them together so that they don't come apart. Notice because I did the multicolor, it should stay with the gray handlebar, red bike, black handles, bam. Let's move back down to the featured shapes and let me show you how we're gonna make a seat. I'll bring out the extrusion and note this little picture right here. We are gonna make a saddle by simply stretching these out like this and tilting these in. That is just about identical to your little kid bike saddle. I'm going to make mine black just because I think it looks kind of cool that way. And then when you look at this closer, let's click on it and look at it. It is just aimed 90 degrees incorrect. So when I rotate it like that, you can see it is a bike seat. It's also really, really thick. Let's bring it into place, lift it with the lift button, and you can see that is a pretty cute little bike. I think I want the seat to be a little higher, so I'm going to just do this. I'm going to ungroup these parts to get back to just my bike frame. And this is the bike frame. I'm going to ungroup again, see if I can get back to just this part. I'm going to ungroup that again. And then this is the lead out, which is 15. This is the lead in, which I put in as a 1. Let's make that a 10 and see if it raises up high enough. Bam! That adjustment got me about where I want to be. Now I'm just going to center this. So I'm just grabbing these parts right here, doing a line, clicking on the purple because that's the middle, 
and then choosing the middle choice. And then we'll raise this up a couple clicks and I'm gonna push it back with the arrow keys. Real quickly, I'm gonna group my frame. Notice I only grabbed the purple parts. I'm gonna leave my handlebars as one separate part. I'm gonna leave the seat as a separate part. Let's go to the all shapes and find ourselves some wheels. I like the ones on page three. And when we bring out that little wheel, it is quite large. I'm gonna make it black. I'm gonna stick with the main shape. There are many you can choose from, but I'm gonna just do this one. I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna shrink it a little, but then I'm gonna type the number 20 so that it snaps to that exact size. I need to rotate it, which is always easier from a corner. I'm gonna stay close so it snaps to that 90 degree and I'm gonna hit D to drop it to the right height. Let's quickly grab that tricycle frame and I'm gonna use that control up to raise it up in the air. Notice I had my grid set pretty small so that takes a little longer. But now I can move my wheel into place and see if I like it. I think that's close but I want this to come down just a little bit. So once again, I'm just grabbing the purple stuff and the black of course couple control downs and boom that is in place I can grab the entire project align it click on that center align and boom my tricycle is starting to look complete nudge that a few clicks forward make it a little wider just because it's cool align again I'm gonna center it on the tire and now I'm gonna put the tire in the back Control D, arrow keys. Make sure I'm looking right at it. <laughs> see, that was too far behind the post. Now, if I look from the right, I can see still too far from the post. That'll work. Now, I'm going to click on that tire and do Control D. And I'm going to nudge one to the right. And I'm going to nudge the other to the left. And this is one of my favorite tricks. I'm going to take those two tires and I'm going to group them. So that way, when I grab the entire project and do center, it's centering them on the middle. All right, friends, so our back wheels are a little low. I'm going to choose to fix that by just holding down shift and growing our wheels till they fit. Um, it is bigger than they normally would be, but I think it's kind of cool. If you double click, you can edit the shape and then I can click inside. See how it's pink? Now I can nudge those to the right spot so they'd be where they should be. And then when I let go, they will be grouped again. They're the right size to be connected. And doggone it, who didn't want bigger wheels on their tricycle and their kids anyhow? Real quickly, let's drop in some axles. And I'm going to do that with the basic cylinder. I'm going to set the work plane to the edge of one of the tires. That way I can bring out a cylinder and I'm going to make these size three. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it a little. And then when I type three, it all goes to that spot. If I do shift select and grab the two items, I can click on that tire and choose middle and middle, even though that one is hiding from me. I'm going to set the work plane back to the ground. I'm going to click just on the orange piece. And then make sure you find that black handle. That's the one that stretches all the way to the other side. Does not grow it in any direction. It just stretches it. And I'm going to get those aligned as perfect as I want. Once again, black handle, not the white handle. It's much slicker. And then I'm going to do Control D. Hold down Shift and click on the front tire. Let's do a line because what we just did is we grabbed the duplicate and we want to align it right there just like that. I'm going to click on the tire now and do shift select. Let's do a line again. Pop. We want to align it middle, middle, and boom. Use that black handle trick to shrink it. Oops, see there I grabbed a white handle. Control Z, make sure you grab the black handle and shrink it to the exact size you want. It's not quite lined up with the spokes, so I'm going to do shift select. I've got my point one nudge on and just pop, 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 pop. 
Now I am happy. Alrighty, friends, I lost my sweet red color when I was doing those undos. I'm going to put that back. I'm going to make this back one gray. I'm going to make the front one gray. And I am going to call this completed for now. Uh, we do not have the little pedals. We also don't have a bike horn, which would be sweet, but those will all be in another video. I'm going to delete this little piece. If we have to build it again, we can add another date. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.